So, hello there. I'm finally here in the south of France. For those of you that don't know, my name is Meg and I am quite an introvert and homebody. I have lived at home my whole life for 23 years and I've just graduated college slash uni this year. One of my biggest New Year's resolutions was to step outside of my comfort zone more. I think incredible things happen when you step outside of your comfort zone. You can become more inspired, you can feel stronger in yourself, more confident in yourself, learn more about you and the world and what it is that you love. There's a lot to be said for stepping outside of that comfort zone and I've done it quite a few times this year with solo travel but one of my biggest stepping outside of my comfort zones this year is this month. I'm spending the month of October here in the south of France in Cannes. It's kind of a month of firsts for me. It's my first time living away from home and although to some people a month away it might not seem like a lot of time, it's a really big step for me. And that's not my only first. My boyfriend and I of eight years are living together for a whole month for the first time, which is another very, very exciting thing. So that's about it. I'm really looking forward to seeing what this beautiful month brings. So for now, Introvert Diaries are taking place in the south of France until the end of October. And I hope you guys are gonna enjoy it as much as I do. Hello everyone, I'm finally here in Cannes for the whole month of October. We've been here five days so far. It's a beautiful day outside. I'm not gonna lie, as much as I love the sun, I would love to be able to put my jumpers on right now. Love to be in my autumn clothing era. But for now, the sun is here and I'm gonna take advantage of it. I'm gonna head out for a little bit today and see what I get up to. You guys know I'm here with my boyfriend and he works remote, so he's on his computer all day until about five o'clock and then I have kind of all day to play with. I have actually been doing a lot of like work this week, so it's only really today that I'm free and I don't have to do any editing, etc. So yeah, it's honestly a little bit later on in the day, I'm not gonna lie. It's currently one o'clock. Had a very chill morning watching YouTube in bed. Owen got me an Earl Grey tea. I'm really obsessed with Earl Grey tea on this trip. I don't know what it is, but I absolutely love it. And I do love Earl Grey, hence why I called my grey cat Earl. You guys know this. So the night before we were flying, we left the airport at like three in the morning. And the night before that, it really started to hit me, kind of what I was doing. And when I tell you, every instinct in me internally was like, stay, don't go, don't do this, like don't leave. Mostly it was like, I just didn't want to leave my routine and like my safe space. But I knew that was kind of like fear talking and it wasn't a genuine feeling because the minute I got here, when we landed, I was like, no, this is exactly where I'm supposed to be this month. This is exactly what I need. So yeah, I really want to use this month to kind of, as cringy as this may sound, get in touch with myself kind of creatively and I don't know, tap back into my film love. I'm graduating in November, but I'm fully done college. I'm finished and I've had a lovely summer kind of finding fun back and watching films. But I have found in the last few weeks that I've really been like itching to tap back in to that love that I have for filmmaking and filmmaking is always the end goal for me. Directing is probably when I'm absolutely my, my like happiest creatively and passionately. It's just such a thrill and I would love to spend this month kind of writing, whether it's script ideas or watching interviews of directors and watching interesting films. You can learn so much all the time and you can choose to learn and I'm, I'm rambling here, but basically what I'm saying is my camera nearly fell. My camera's currently sitting on my laptop on a pillow, so this is not very stable. As I was saying, I'm just really happy to kind of spend this month to kind of go off myself, bring my journal, read, just kind of get inspired and get creative. But for now, I'm gonna get ready. I'm gonna head out, but yeah, I just can't even tell you guys how happy I am to be here. One day I was so sad that it made me ill. This boy said that he's sorry, but he doesn't feel 
Like he should have, or at least that's how I thought he should And since that day I'm still wishing he would I was so mad that it made me cry The boy I loved turned into someone else's guy So I turned my back and walked until I couldn't see How it feels when he's not with me Oh, Owen and I are just back from dinner. We're gonna have a little bit of a cozy movie night now. One day I was so mad that it made me ill. This boy said that he's sorry, but he doesn't. Once I knew I was coming here to the beautiful sunny south of France for a month, there was one really big goal that I wanted to achieve before I got here. I wanted to feel more comfortable and more confident in my simple, basic interactions when I'm here in French. And I went to the best place I know to go, which is Lingoda. Lingoda are an incredible online language learning school and they have boosted my confidence so much. For me personally, language learning has always been incredibly hard. I really struggled with it in school and it was something I was never very confident in. I was always very embarrassed. It was just all, ugh. it just made me want to crawl up into a ball. When I had French and I had to speak it in front of people, it just completely terrified me. And it gave me a little bit of a bad taste in my mouth with regards to language learning. I think a lot of people can relate to that. Lingoda is such a beautiful and safe learning space where everybody wants to learn similar to you. People on Lingoda want to try just just as much as you do and want to help each other out just as much as you do. So it's a really beautiful learning space that makes me feel comfortable even though learning languages and being in a language learning class has always been something I've been really fearful of and as an introvert even speaking in my own language to people can be really intimidating and very scary and socializing isn't a hundred percent my forte so obviously I was terrified at the idea of speaking French however I just wanted to be able to walk into a little cafe, walk in to the bakery in the morning, or should I say boulangerie, and ask if I could get a pan au chocolat with some iced tea and just comfortably be able to say that in French. And Lingoda has helped me achieve that. And yes, my pronunciation is still far from perfect. It's the fact that Lingoda has given me the confidence to try in the first place that I just love them for that. So no matter what heights you wanna reach with your language learning, Lingoda is the place for you. So Lingoda's classes are flexible and live, which means you just get to pick the time whenever suits you. It's a really beautiful, immersive learning environment. It is a maximum of three to five students. So it's not overwhelming. You guys are all in it together and it's so cute. So the sprint challenge is 15 lessons lessons in 30 days and if you successfully complete this you get 50% cash back or 15 more credits so you can have 15 more lessons. The super sprint is 30 lessons in 30 days and again you can get 50% cash back upon successful completion or 30 more credits. Register below and use my code it will get you 20 euro off or $25 off when you register for their sprint challenge. I believe in you all. You can do it. You can do it. I love ya.
it's currently Friday morning and I'm going to head down to the market now, grab some fruit, get some pan chocolates and get some bread. It's the first weekend in Cannes and I'm so looking forward to it but I've got to sit and edit this video with a plan of attack. This is what I'm wearing, don't mind this situation in the background that will get sorted this weekend but i'm wearing these trousers from damps and matter they're so cute i'm absolutely obsessed i have this beige bag it's literally called b-e-i-s it's the best for convenience i wish the color was different but c'est la vie oh my jewelry i bought this little star bracelet here and it says in french on it i am a star and it is so cute I might end up buying a few more of them before I leave, but yes. This is my outfit. Let's go get some breakfast. Regarde la barre. Est-ce que tu nous vois? C'est difficile. La vie sans toi. Est-ce que tu y crois? Je ne sais pas écrire ce manque de toi Un coin tranquille, peut-être une île, vie indocile La nuit défile dans mon exil Un coin tranquille savoir s'il va pleuvoir c'est pas toujours facile quand il fait noir 